Hello, I'm Brock Baker. I make videos on the internet. And I do impressions. And some people... Some people don't like me, and they're really mean, and they leave really vile comments on my videos. And I try to convince myself that these comments don't get to me. Because they really don't. I thrive off this shit. Yum yum, feed me more of that hateful, hateful goodness. Get in there! Mmm, yum! And I'm going to read a bunch of these comments whilst doing celebrity impressions. Terrible grammar and all. And before you claim that I ripped off jerks films, do realize that I've been doing this since 2009. Oops. <laughs> Just fucking drop it, Brock. You taste like candy, little girl. These impressions suck. It didn't make me happy at all. This face. These impressions are just annoying. Sorry, bro, but Brizzy is better than you. I don't like you. I mean, I like you, but you are just not really good. Plus, you are ugly. I'm sorry. And then the diagonal face. It's like you had a stroke or something. I mean, that would explain your incredibly stupid comment, Zach. You're very dumb. Zach. Did you drop out of school? Because I think you need an education. Oh boy, what a life this gimp leads. Hi, Betty thinks this shit is great. Attention-seeking faggots like this need to be put through a holocaust, ha <laughs> ha. Your hair is greasy. And it looks like you haven't showered in weeks. Good impressions, though. Uh, is Brock, like, autistic or something? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> My five years old brother wouldn't even laugh at this, lol. What the fuck is this? Eres en estupido por andar copiando los videos de otras personas. Debería darte pena. Se note que ni fan eres de Pokémon. Y dos minutos del video son diciendo tonterías. Por Dios, que idiota eres. Al menos el original. Y me tan muy bien a Pikachu y no hacen tantas tonterías como tu idiota. If people wanted to see and damn stupid geeks, look no more. Then here are all. This face. How is this funny? Give it up, bro. You've made some good shit before, but now it's just pathetic. Once you got some of that YouTube money, you became EA. Just making as much shit as possible as fast as you can. Fucking pathetic. Um, I really don't upload that much, Mr. Exaggerate Pants. I think you're confusing me with Jack's films. <laughs> WTF is this. He sucks. He shall not do Vosisis anymore. Hey, Vosisis, it's Brock. Um, I have some bad news. I can't do you anymore. What? The man with 100 voices can do it better, very better, I thougged. You is going to be better than the with 100 voices, he can do all. And then a weirdly placed semicolon right in the middle of this nonsense. Of them very, 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 very better, it's like he is the one that is doing the voices on shows or movies but just one movie. Countless shows, but just one movie. <laughs> <clears throat> 
It's stupid though, 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 it's Oh, okay. You're funny. I like you. But none of them sounded right. This face. This is Wax 6. Let's try that again. Fucking lame, guys. Step it up. This is Walk. I hate Brock. 20 thumbs ups? You are a idiot retard. No one in my family likes you. Oh, I see how it is, Bell family. Just don't be expecting a Christmas card from me this year. And to think, I was going to include my classic Jingle Bells joke. Oh, and by the way, Jennifer's in ballet, and she loves it. But I guess that just doesn't matter to you anymore. You Bells can go straight to hells. <laughs> <clears throat> Much better. Mm. It's time once again for comments of the douchey and pretentious. This episode's featured douche is Alan Smith. For the last two decades, as we approach a third, the world has held dear to the yellow-skinned family which drew us into our TVs at the evenings. So we could be distracted for a half hour from how dysfunctional our own families were. And shown products and services which could fill the hole during the absence between episodes. And over this time, many a lad, and indeed often a lady, have embarked upon that journey to impress their friends with impressions of their favorite characters often falling short with the realizations they can't get their voice that high without professional voice coaching. And so settling with the odd soundbite which falls within their range. Steadily as time rolled on, players emerged. Amateurs who could perform many of the voices we idealized and became talk of the school ground. The young do not judge on quality as so long as it's recognizable. <laughs> and they would tell their friends about you, and you would be forced to perform, so as not to appear weird or a wuss. The bitter sweet price for talent. And as the days marched past, and The Simpsons showed no signs of ever stopping, the fan base grew older and impressions were no longer held in high regards by their classmates. Long Because everyone was too busy getting laid. With the years having been unkind to everybody's favorite distraction, we could have breath a collective sigh of relief, and we would no longer have to live through another awkward session of do. Woo! A caramba! <laughs> From grown men. And then this came along. With The Simpsons being as old as myself, amateur impressions shall be a thing of the past. Contenders should have owned their abilities to a level where we cannot dispute their quality. And no amount of self-deprecation can change that. While the fat Tony was impressive, the rest left so much to desire that I, as a viewer, am left personally affronted by what feels like an attack upon my childhood. It left me feeling shame as though I was personally responsible for the lazy attempt this man made. 
This was knowingly created by a person and I can only assume was made in high esteem unless we are to appreciate substandard quality material in place of high quality which we expect two stars hi i'm john douglas and i also make youtube videos except mine are better which is why i get more views a perverted, miniature version of my head lives inside my mouth. Doctors say I can't have it removed, otherwise my esophagus will explode and I'll die a violent death. But that's just something I have to live with. For just a dollar a day, you can help pay for the special effects team that I have to hire to digitally remove it from all my videos. Unless you constantly want to hear stuff like this. I believe they'll cause me. You got it? Yeah. Please help. My life is a living hell, and surprisingly, it's not my girlfriend's fault.